If you've watched my previous videos, then you know that this is the first time I've done anything specifically like this. If you haven't watched my previous videos, this is the first time I've done anything specifically like this. I've steered clear of the vlog style video before now because, well, for one thing, I hate the word vlog, namely because it's not actually a word, but also because I hate being on camera. I don't know where this video series is going to lead, so in an effort to keep the bar low, I'm wearing my pajamas. Because this is the first video in this series, I thought it would be a good idea to talk about some other firsts that happened this year. First is not an easy word for me to say. It's only slightly easier than saying six -ths. six -ths. I don't think that should even be a word. For the first time this year, I used a chainsaw. I traveled to the UK. Johnny Sylvester, my steady she goes. I spent time in a forge. I got to speak on a panel. There are definitive steps, and you take those, and everything else is filler, and um... <laughs> I did a themed build, meaning that I also made my own costume, and in this case, I performed some of the music that accompanied this build. I used this attachment on a hairdryer. I did my first collaborative build. And this was the first time that someone got mad at me for upcycling. A few of you have asked me what I have in store for 2019, and honestly, I don't know what's in store for me tomorrow. If you had asked me last January what my plans were, I would have said that I'm going back to Boston where I kind of live. Instead, I stayed in California so that I could help my brother build out a shoe store. After that was finished, my intent was to go back to Boston where I kind of live. Instead, I moved to the desert and helped build a tiny house. There's really no telling where I'm going to be or what I'm going to do next, so I guess you'll just have to follow along. Since moving out to the desert, I got to help in a few projects that aren't my own. I also drove across the United States four times. I pushed myself to the limit with my lesser known yoga poses and nearly fatally injured myself while trying to do the river pose. I know that 2019 will also have a lot of firsts for me, but there's one second that I'm really looking forward to. In May of 2019, I'm going to be back in Birmingham, UK for the Maker Central event. If you missed it last year, you should really make an effort to go this time. It was a lot of fun, and as I mentioned before, I got to speak on a panel, which was really cool and terrifying, but it was a lot of fun. I'll be speaking again. I don't know about what, but I will be speaking, if only to myself. Now, if you were paying attention the last time I talked about this, you'll know that it was at Maker Central that I met some very lovely people, and I also met Steve from Moonshine Metalworks. Steve very kindly invited me to come to the forge where he works, so I went to South UK, South, of Eng South England, Southern England, the South. It's named after cheese, I think. Cheddar hole. I think it's cheddar hole. Anyway, Steve works for a man named Alex Pohl, and he very graciously cleared his forge for an entire day so that our silly little crew could come in and muck about. This was my first time in a forge, and I could not have chosen a better place to learn. Both Steve and Alex will be at the Maker Central event, and they're bringing their entire blacksmithing getup. So I suggest that you go and learn how to blacksmith something. In my head, I was always thinking of this as being kind of like a, a newscast thing where I tell you a story about a thing that happened and then I look dramatically into this camera. But there's not actually a camera there, so you're stuck with this one shot. I did a few sewing projects this year. I did two on camera and one off camera. 
actually two off camera. It doesn't matter, you'll never see them, so it doesn't matter how many there were. Sewing is a thing that I want to explore more than I have before. God, it's annoying. I don't know a lot about it, but I have actually been watching some YouTube videos to help me get better. The person I go to for my sewing tutorials is Crafts with Ellen. I was fortunate enough to meet Ellen earlier this year and I got to see in person the bomber jacket that she made for Laura and it is spectacular. Ellen has become one of my constants for encouragement and support and help. So if you are also into sewing, don't wait for me to get better at it. Go watch her videos. Another great thing about Ellen She made me this hat. Another great thing about Ellen, she made this hat for Gary. Gary is a butthead and refuses to wear it. So it's now a hat for Travel Frog. Or maybe it's the sleeping bag. Either way, it's pretty cunning, don't you think? If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I am in the midst of a build right now. This build came about in a kind of odd way. I got a phone call from my brother and he said, Hey, I'm doing an event in Manhattan. It's put on by Crazy Glue and it's featuring the mountain from Game of Thrones. Can you make an axe out of a Rogue Fitness 45 pound weight plate that you can then present to him at the end of the event? And I said, absolutely I can. It didn't really matter that I didn't know how I would or even if I could. I just said yes because you don't pass up an invitation like that. So I enlisted the help of Brett from Skull and Spade 13 and together we made a battle axe. It was another themed build. It took two days to make costumes, two days to make the actual battle axe, another day to film the intros, and it's now taken me about a month to try and deconstruct the music to Game of Thrones so that I can re-record it. This was supposed to be the easiest part of the build, but as always happens, the easiest isn't really that easy. Especially when you consider the fact that I haven't played the violin in years, and I've never actually played the piano or the cello. But that's in the works, and it should be coming out soon-ish. I have a very special thank you for everyone who has supported me on Patreon. I started a site a couple months ago and uh, I thought that I was being very sneaky because I didn't really intend to promote it or even start using it uh, until the beginning of this year, which is now. Unfortunately, some of you found out about it before I even had time to promote it. I don't know how you did internet magic or whatnot. But thank you to those who took the time to search me out and give me a helping hand. I really appreciate it. This is the part of the video that I've reserved for answering your questions. But since this is the first video that I've ever done, well, there are no questions to answer. So if you have questions, I will, or maybe I won't, answer them in the next video. You can leave them in the comment section and I will read all of them. I may not answer all of them because honestly, some of you ask some questions that are just ridiculous. I think that's all I had to say. I don't know, this is like the 10th time I've recorded this, so I really can't remember what I have been talking about for the last 17 hours. But that'll have to do for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the verse. Yes. Yes, this is a fertile land, and we will thrive. We will rule over all this land, and we will call it this land. I think we should call it your grave. Ah, curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Ha ha, mine is an evil laugh. Now die, die. Oh God, dear God in heaven.